Gavin Buckley's mayoral campaign is pulling up stakes in Annapolis because he won in a landslide. Congratulations, hey, thank Mayor. Thank you so much. Lex. Thank you. Uh, Cheers. 54 year old Democrat and political novice bested sitting Republican Mayor Mike Panalides by a margin of more than 23%, flipping the office from red to solid blue on Tuesday. We caught up with Mayor elect Buckley and his wife Julie the morning after the big upset. How do you feel? <laughs> Excited. It was great. Yeah, it was a fantastic victory last night. We, um, uh, we couldn't be happier, you know, and I think Annapolis. Send a clear message, you know. They want some new ideas and some uh, uh, some vision for the future, and uh, I'm hoping I can show them what we can do, you know. What the Australian-born restaurateur has done since moving to the city 25 years ago is well established along West Street. He owns neighborhood spots from Tsunami to Lemongrass. I look at um, cities like Austin, Boulder, Charleston, Burlington, Asheville, um, Frederick, even towns that are sort of. They're run by um, uh, progressive mayors, but they're also good for business. Buckley's performance at the polls bodes well for his party down the road. Shows Democrats are fired up, setting the tone for 2018, says analyst Roger Hartley. What this says is that Democrats are energized. They're interested in turning out. If that holds up in 2018, it could be a really tight governor's race. But Gavin Buckley's no fan of a partisan divide. He told us when he spoke with the current mayor last night, he asked if he'd be willing to serve as an advisor in a Buckley administration. And he says Mike Panalides said yes. Live in Annapolis tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.